through towards Sakura as well as Kill House, which puts them smack dab in the middle of the map, opening up the whole of the Battle Royale for any of these squads to pick and choose where they want to go in here for the drop. Once again, uh, they, they usually don't go in here for the high tier loot zone, so I'm not really excited to see who else attempts for it. But, you know, for, for heaven's sake, man, I hope they, they just <laughs> move in there for that juggernaut gameplay because it's such a waste that all of them shy away. If just one or two squads are brave enough to get it, they might just get the, you know, the opportune advantage early in the game beat. Yep, exactly. But I think we're going to be seeing over here the diner is going to be occupied right now by team number 13, which is going to be Machiked. And oh no, it, no, they're actually going to crash, which I'm very surprised that that happened. But right now, team game over Bravo is going for that high loot gameplay here at diner. And again, all these teams are very spread out. None of these teams are actually going to meet yet. So these first bloods, oh, but then just like that, I was mistaken. Ooh. The first blood has been taken out. Izu doing the ace, a very, very big oopsie. Yeah, because they are at the outpost, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Let's take a quick look and see if or not we can jump on to them. The Madias as Izu goes down. It looks like Team Next Level are going to see exactly what Next Level means as Tiger and Krutoi pop off as well. Squad number one taken out of the game. They might have lost their ace, but they literally aced the other squad. Mm -hmm, exactly, and what a beautiful response by the Madias and their teammates. It's going to be very interesting how they actually get to revive Ace later on. But then it's still too early to tell, but they're doing really, really great so far. And we got here the Madias really doing a good job here by Outpost. And they're actually by the circle as well. So very, very good placement in their side over here. The luck is going to be good for them, but it's how far they're going to get that luck. How well they're going to be taking it at the very end of the game. Well, Ace is already on the way back in for that revive flight and the Marias are not going to be too fussed about this at all. And here's the perfect positioning coming in from the Marias squad, right? They picked the outpost for a very specific reason. Why? Because after they are done looting and they've cleared this position out already, they can step in for that chip terminal upgrade. And that is going to just boost them up, beef them up so, so early in this game. The problem is looking for a chopper within the vicinity beef. Mm -hmm, exactly and you're absolutely right with the chip terminal that was a very very good placement for their end but then having to find that chopper maybe you know they need to find that but then the circle is right there and maybe they can actually head in over over into like the inner circle but then being able to actually get into position there's going to be squad 4k jester right in their path and they're gonna have to find a way to actually maneuver or if they actually try to go aggressive on their end they can actually get that right now because the 4k jester team they're not doing so hot right now so maybe in that in mind they can actually go a little bit more aggressive and go for those kill points there you go so maria's focusing in and he just waits patiently for the chip terminal to get activated and they will be beefed up so so early in this game maria's doing his squad a favor by opening up all of the chip terminals because it is quite annoying when you go and stand there and just keep clicking the damn thing just won't open that's so true. I always encounter that. It's like, it won't come in. It won't click. I can't get it. And every time I get left behind, but it's okay. You know what? I just try. I just try to go and try to get to my teammates as fast as I can. And right now, the Manias looking like they're at the star of the show. But then let's head on over to the Vikings because it's going to be 4K Jester versus the Vikings. And it's going to look so dire right now for the Vikings. Enemy down. Yeah, Enemy evil down. virus princess. They don't have anything to stand up against the Vikings. Too strong, too good. Clara's gonna get taken out. A two-man push in. Clara's deleted immediately. Evil virus princess. They only have, I believe, two more players left in here. Right in front of them, they also spot a airborne being dropped. So they know that if they do not go in and top their health back up, they might just get third-partied by another squad. Now the delete for evil virus princess is not too far away. I I believe Freeze is still left in this game, who managed to pick up another player in there. We should be able to switch back onto them if they are in trouble. But for the time being, let's take a quick look at New Era. They are in the situation where they might face off against Aventus Sovereign Anarchy Beef. 
Uh huh. Exactly. And to have that meeting now, that's going to be very important for both of these teams, especially for New Era, because they really need to rack up those kills. And I'm not quite sure if they actually know where it is as right now. Aventus is actually going in for that chip terminal upgrade, and I think New Era doesn't know that they're actually there, so that's good on them. But then I don't think they're going to be meeting anytime soon. They're just going to want to get all of those weapons, really get those good loot. And in in this area, they have pretty much really good loot, especially if you have to go a bit inner inside. But then here we go. Oh. Early on the game, will have to people. cry early on in the game, yo. Because Team Kami Santai Saja with Lolu up in the air will now have to go in here for the dog tag gameplay. Squad 19, the Immortals Rampage Alpha in for the push and the fight as well. And right there behind them, Lincha Taufan is in the vicinity. And obviously, Squad 11, Team Kami Santai Saja. Kami Santai Saja literally means we just want to chill. They don't want to have anything to do with this. <laughs> well, chilling they are and come. Uh, I have such a hard time saying their name, but I will persist in saying it right. Kami Santai Saja is not chilling right now. They're doing their absolute best to actually get all of these kills right now. It's absolutely dire for them to do so with three members of their team. It's still a lot of time for them to actually get into that revival flight. And we're seeing here, Lincha is going to be able to actually get two kills so far, being under the bridge, trying to see if they can actually go under and really try to see if they can get that surprise game gameplay i'm actually surprised that none of them have the ninja because that would be very very good to actually have here in this bridge right now yeah lincha can go in here for the takedown he brings out his m21 goes in a couple of shots one more there you go but day fish gets that takedown and i don't know if you notice this but off screen a king whisper once again goes in and shoots at the airdrop flight and they managed to get their loot so so early in the game ladies and gentlemen boys and girls and that has ex that has been the factor that has been putting evil virus at the forefront for two games now and they will be looking to do the exact same three times in the running who will be able to prevent them from picking up those airdrops i mean once again right just like those high tier loot zones the squads avoid the airdrop like the plague why would you do that i am not okay wait i am sure i know exactly why but you know it, it's that risky gameplay that you need to go in for because imagine the the bonus the advantage that you get from bringing in a gun that you modded yourself at the gunsmith just to perfection to what you like because each and every single person in here they they have their own preferred setting that they you know they are so used to in the game and not being able to access that airdrop might be that game changer beef yeah, exactly. And from the past game, we actually saw Crazy Kai getting that exotic Arctic 50, which landed him, may I add to you, 11 kills, which is crazy, which is the most out of everyone. But here we go. Oh. Ade getting that kill, really getting rid of Maria and Hadi as well as Quachong gets that echo kill. Now here, this is what we've been saying. The echo plus the snowboard, now that's going to be the meta for the Battle Royale games that we're going to be seeing here so far. And they have four kills to their name so far here, AJ. Uh, unfortunate for Maria, the movement from her wasn't enough to avoid the shot coming in from Ade, right? Because he, he a, a lot of them, when they are chased and they find that they are at the side of the ledge, they quickly jump off, they want to glide out of the situation. But the problem is the starting point of that glide is going to be quite slow. So if you've got a player right there behind you, already with his, you know, um, sights out and trying to go in for the takedown, you're going to lose your life. Exactly like what you saw happen to Maria. What she could have done is trick him go and turn around a slip and slide jump make him turn around and then turn around once again confuse the crap out of Ade and then jump off the cliff that's the best possibility of a survival Pablo on the other hand not going to be able to do much as it's a three-on-one situation Hazel the last player standing in here for MC squad 13 watch it they are getting all of the kisses they want from new era B Mm -hmm. New Era doing such a good job of that aggressive gameplay and right now. Hazel really needs to go in there and get her teammates dog tags, but then she gets tagged and gets those aggressive, aggressive bullets, but then she does fly away, going further and further away from the dog tags, and it's going to look very, very dire for her to actually keep on going. It's going to be hard for her to go there because New Era knows where she's at, and we see here another meeting. Oh, Lamb goes through, gets that slice as well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I don't know exactly what happened there, but Team Game Over Bravo might just see the end of their game. But two more players still left in here, and Squad 8, Aventus Sovereign X, will be trying to go in here for the catch. So the Ace, on the other hand, gets taken out by Opa Dingoes, 
and Krutoy comes right back for that response. Deletes Dondo as well, which means they can still pick Ace up. I wonder exactly, are we going to be able to see the Opas taken out by the Madias early in this game? It will be Tiger as well as Krutoy jumping back in here together, backing each other out. And the Immortals Opa in the vicinity, this is going to be a tough fight for the both of them. Mm -hmm, exactly, but it's going to be a 3v2 situation as the Opa has four, uh, no, actually they have three people in their squad right now as Dondo goes down, but then they're going to try to go for that dog tag and they're going to be doing that and Krutoy and El Tigre, they're going to be the only two people in their team, so they really need to delay their push further because it's going to be dangerous, especially that they're outside of the zone, so they really need to find the time to get out of there and get into safety, AJ. Yeah, the Immortals Rampage as well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, they are off the screen. But I can give you an update that Akumi has managed to bring in two of the players back into the game. Jumper with that shot, but it's a three-on-one situation. Lunkwas as well as Jabbat deleted so early. The Vikings have lost their flair and there is nothing that they can do to make it back into this game. It's going to be Aiden trying to put the end to the whole Viking squad. Rukuman taken down as well and they now just have one more player left. Are we going to be able to see lost? Z come back in here for that dog tag pickup and bring his squad back into the game. They wanted the, uh, you know, the gunsmith guns from the airdrop, but I think they got a little bit more than that. They got the bullets from Lincha instead. B. Yep, exactly. Lynch is doing such a good job actually trying to get rid of the Vikings over here. But right now, let's look about the remix right now. It's going to be hard for them to actually get this as they only have one kill and they're also outside the zone as Rio goes down and he needs to get that heal up. But then I don't think he's going to be able to actually get it as the zone closes in slowly and Zarex is a little bit too far from his squad and I think they're going to have to let that one go, AJ. Mm, unfortunate for Ryo, but then again, it's not like they cannot go right back and pick the dog tag up. And that's exactly what k -Roar does. They need to survive in here. Rambo stuck between a very hard place and a very sticky situation. If he jumps right out, he might get shot at. Rainbow needs to mark his position, call in for some backup as well. But the three-on-one might just get popped up on him. Aventus Sovereign X coming in here for the delete and they will flank right around. But it is K-Rod back for the backup, which means that ABSG will not be able to bully Rambo into submission. But Lamb still has got the vantage point. Rambo needs to ski right out of there, manages to get it done. And just like that, they go on to prove once again, the meta of survival is that snowboard beef. Yep, exactly. Good on him. I was actually really, really concerned that he was going to get that, especially Lamb had that advantage of having that high ground. And he was able to actually go away. Thank God for that ski board right now. And they're going to be able to actually get away from safety and be actually going inside that circle very, very early on. And right now, only one other team is actually in the zone, which is Evil Virus. And it's going to be difficult for everyone to actually be here. And the final circle seems to be like there's going to be a high ground battle over here, AJ. Well, it's going to be Bota on here for the approach. All of the squads avoiding each other like the plague. Bota going in there for the delete. And K-Raw is just unhappy with that situation. AVSG squad 8, ladies and German boys and girls. Aventus Sovereign X. They are solid at the time being. Are they going to be able to continue this performance? They are in the save zone already. But there is no time for rest. Why? Because the save zone that they are with then is so open and the terrain they do not have that vantage point they need to go in better for better positioning and make sure they do not get caught off guard it will be the new era opening things up against evil virus not a great idea but the war machine might be able to equalize and neutralize the virus this time around beef Mm -hmm, exactly, Point Greeny needs to really utilize his war machine and really oh. get rid of him, but we're going to be seeing no! He won't be able to actually do that! It's, like, it's going to be very hard for him as we see here, a sniper comes into play and uh, no, no one has been down yet, surprisingly. A lot of these players are actually still alive, which is very good on them and they're going to be going away. They're going away, they're actually stepping out of that battlefield, which is actually really good, but then another battle is going to be introduced to them. As we see here, Aventus is going to be against them. 
Oh, Panghuni manages to go in there and, and rips through his opponents. One quick takedown and he should be able to go in for the delete as well. AVSG, they are on the back foot. They did not expect the fight to come in against New Era so early. They were already in trouble and right now it has just got a little worse for them. B. 51 more players left in here from 14 different squads. We are at the 15 minute mark, which means we just have about five more or four more minutes to go in here. And that chaos that we have seen in so many of these matches will ensue shortly. This is so smart of New Era. They're picking off smaller prey. They backed off of that because they know the top predator is going to be Evil Virus. So they're like, okay, we engaged, but we're going to back off really slowly and go for Squad Aventus. And it's going to be very amazing for them if they actually get to wipe out these two squads. Because it's going to be Mystic over here. Penguini to be left here. And they're going to be able to actually get it. Mystic and Lamb, easy, easy targets if they actually get to communicate this right between each other. Oh, perfect gameplay coming in here. The teamwork, the defender gets popped out, so O'Neal can focus in on his snipes, ladies, German boys and girls. Arctic 50, the legendary Arctic 50. Oh, sorry, the... Wait, uh, the exotic Arctic 50, my apologies, in his hands. Are we going to be able to see him use that to perfection? Dingoes with the BY-15 should be able to close the gap down between him as well as the Manias as Tiger has gone in for that split. Rukuman still in the game, takes Ryo out of the equation. I wonder if the Vikings might be able to make a comeback in here, babe. Um, exactly. And right now, we're actually going to be seeing Team 18, which is going to be Team Remix. It's going to have two kills. Now, they need to actually step it up because right now, they're actually at the very bottom of the pack. And they're going to be going against uh, Kami Sajai Santa. Uh, again, it's Kami Sajai Saja. And oh, there you go. They actually got that kill right now. Zarek doing such a good job for his team. But they need to actually get more squad members as he's the only one right now. Rambo is going to be down. He's going to need to have that help right now. And Kami Santai Saja being around the corner, that's it's going to be hard on them as a team. Yeah, the Marias is on the approach as well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. If Tiger gets a sniff of the blood that is within the vicinity, Zarex will get deleted out as well. Ade is going to be flying up into the air because they need to make it into the zone. And the airdrop is coming in as well. Crazy Kai is going to be making that approach first, which means that Evil Virus will just get slightly more aggressive, slightly better as the clock ticks on. They see right in front of them, Roro and Squad. I wonder if Ade is going to go in there for that push. He will hang around in the air for the time being. He is the airborne player, which means the advantage is with him. He will be able to float. Mm -hmm, exactly. Comes. Exactly. And just like that, you can see here, AJ, uh, Evil Princess, it's, it's, it's going to be really, really amazing for them to actually get to this one. But EV Princess, they're going to have a hard time, as we can see here in the skies. It's going to be King Whisper. He's going to try to see if he can actually get that frag off of Roro, and he won't be able to actually do so. But then it's going to be interesting how they actually get oh. to do that. Tin Rose gets out. War Machine gameplay is out. Penguini doing such a good job, but it's not going to be enough as everyone is too far away, AJ. Yeah, he shouldn't have popped off so crazily on that war machine. And right now, with the lack of artillery, the lack of bullets on that war machine, Panghuni might have just wasted one too many bullets, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Is he going to pay for that later on in the game? We will find out, as it's going to be the O-Pass with Banana, with the perfect positioning, brings out the M4 <laughs> LMG for those shots. And it's going to be Shooks right in front of him. And here comes the approach from the other players as well. But it is just a snowboard all around, which is why the meta is just so freaking strong. You can't get that hit. Banana showing that you need to at least slow those players down on that snowboard with that trap at the very least. And he tries to place those traps. If you manage to come in here thinking that your snowboard can be the meta, I will show you what the trap master can get done. Banana still in here with that shot. He should be able to get one more player down. Oh, gets that hit. Ah, oh, banana perfection, y'all. Banana Perfection with that LMG gameplay. He's going to get another fight to his name. It's so amazing. 12 kills for his name so far. And AJ, this is so funny to me. It looks like they're just skiing in the park right now. <laughs> well, everybody wants to abuse the meta and it's Banana who has found out exactly how he can come in here and take it up against them when they abuse the meta. The Trap Master can shut them down. ABSG Mystic in front of them and it's going to be Sin Ariko just keying around. Banana can get one more kill in here which will mean so much for the Opa squad. Banana needs to go in and focus in on his shots. He cannot pop out any one of those shots anymore from... Oh, here comes Evil Virus now, beep! 
Yep, Evil Virus and the Opus is gonna be against all of these top teams right now. And Dingo gets a kill off of Mystic. And 4K Jester gets another one. Crazy Kai gets a crazy kill again over here. Ha! Oh, Opa Dingo has that. Gets the kill. Oh, he manages to go in there for that knock, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Will Dingo's be able to delete him as well? Because Alex should be able to jump in there for the save. But, oh, there is nothing that you can do against the exotic Arctic 50. Even though you pop that smoke, the tiger right there on towards his left. Banana still doing that damage. For Chong brings out that war machine. Oh, sorry, Crazy Kai brings out that war machine. But Dondo, as well as Dingo's, shuts down KW and Po Chong. Oh, Dingo's might be down on the ground, but it doesn't matter because, oh! four players of the Opa squad they take the win with 23